Hey, what's up everyone? This is DCSG81. Today, we will take a look at this um, simple comparison with the latest Mayfax Iron Spider. Uh, as for this one, it's the SHV Gods Iron Spider and both of them are from the Avenger Infinity War. Okay, so as per my um, previous video uh, for the review of this guy, <coughs> you can see I have a slight uh, misfortune <laughs> that I managed to break off one of the uh, spider claw or tentacles. Yeah, so I have not done anything yet to repair it. I'm still looking for uh, alternative of the ball joint. I know some of you guys, uh, especially um, from the uh, Fush review, that he actually used the uh, Yamaguchi Kevit, uh, Carnage uh, joint which uh, actually works pretty well I must say so uh, I have not tried that yet because I have not even removed uh, the broken joint from inside okay so uh, I'll just leave it for now uh, I'm not going to do anything to it yet so um, <laughs> the spider might look a bit different but you can still see that it looks pretty good so um, Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so since we already uh, have it uh, like this form, so I will just show it to you guys uh, with the claw, how good it looks and how average it looks. So you can already see that um, it looks, uh, this one, I think everyone will say that this one looks very nice, uh, screen accurate as compared to this guy here. He's a little bit small and also the claw is, uh, is, is very weird looking okay it's supposed to be a sharp part i think they're just trying to be a child friendly and make it uh blunt like this okay so i'll take off the claw and then i'll show you the spider-man first okay so from the look of the spider-man uh even i don't have to bring it near to you guys you can already see that uh, <laughs> one is actually looking a, uh, a much better proportion i would say uh, and the paint as well is uh much more accurate as compared to this one it looks just very dull and um, actually the head looks pretty bad now, now that I have something to compare with it looks much more <laughs> rounded up uh, like a fat spider-man inside and this one look more oval shapes yep and you can see as for the paint the glossiness it looks it makes it looks like uh, even though this doesn't give me the um, the metal feel like how it should be iron spider okay but uh, it still looks good as compared to this one this totally don't have that kind of feel it just looks like a normal suit okay so let's see uh, as for the design I think they are pretty much there I mean the spider logo is pretty much looking very good okay oops ah uh, yeah for the <laughs> SH figures I do have this problem that this mid portion uh, pop up pretty easily even though I'm not trying to do any crunches okay so you can see for this for you to see the whole uh, spider um, emblems on him you have to actually um, up his back pretty much to see the full spider okay but this is very weird spider-man don't stand like this right so if I were just to put him um, just a straight body then it looks like okay sorry my bad it actually looks good as well okay okay so oh see it's loose again i don't know if yours have the same problem let me know in the comment below if you have the same issue as i have okay and okay if i'm not wrong this one have um the butterfly joints comes up pretty easily as well see <laughs> Yep, so um, the SHP got um, even though it has a very good joint, but it's still coming out everywhere. <laughs> okay, so uh, as for the uh, articulation, I believe it's very much better. You see, I, I don't have any worries that anything might just break off. Okay, <laughs> yep, so here you can pose very, very well as well. I'll show it to you guys later. But the, uh, the main fix one is isn't bad at all just that when you try to articulate just try to hold as close as possible to the joint uh, and the hinge i'm sorry and the shiver as well just don't take things for granted like what i do on the uh, shv quads so uh, but if you are just the guy that who rarely 
uh, pose the Spider-Man in very dynamic pose. I think this is good. But I'm not saying that this Mayfax Spider-Man can't do crazy poses. Like I showed you yesterday, uh, even now I can show you. We can actually, oops, okay, I pull it too hard, okay. Okay, so you can even do, uh, you know, the um, superhero landing pose that uh, Iron Man usually do. It's uh, no problem there. Um, wait, this leak. I just kind of forget. I'm not a very good uh, poser, okay? So forgive me if I pose it wrongly. I sometimes I have to look at pictures to do it right. <coughs> so yep, he can do crazy poses as well, easily, but just have to make sure about the uh, pain rub and as well as the joint that I mentioned yesterday in my review as well. Okay, but he can still do pretty crazy poses. For SH figures, well, there isn't much worries. <laughs> uh, although I do see someone actually broke the uh, uh, hand, sorry, hand pack uh, joint, this one. Yeah, so uh, I would say it's a very rare case. Um, not that it doesn't happen at all, but it's, it's a very, very rare, okay. So, yeah. Uh, you can see I can just pose him without any worries. I can just twist and turn. I don't have to speci specifically hold anywhere. So yeah, so both of them can do crazy pose. Yep. But in terms of overall look, of course the Mayfax actually looks very much better, very much uh, screen accurate. Okay. So let's take a look at the uh, claws. Okay, so as for the claw, I did not remove the whole piece. You can still see the pieces here from the uh, Mayfax Iron Spider. I just take off the claw separately because um, this one uh, do do come off, but it takes a little bit of effort as compared to the SHP Guards one. It's pretty easy to take off. You can just see I just pop it off. Okay, yeah, so um, it will look something like this. For the SH figures and this is one of the claw for the Mayfax. So I'll just compare it like that. Okay. So for the SH figure, uh, again it's pretty sturdy. You don't have to worry anything that might break off because this portion here doesn't articulate at all. They just make it permanently fixed here. The only part that is articulated uh, you can actually move around is just here. Of course you also can uh, turn around a bit. Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, you can still turn around a bit, okay. But for the Mayfax one, the whole thing below is actually movable and it's also prone to uh, breakage <laughs> as you can see yesterday. So you can see the claw um, comparison is pretty obvious. Yep. So the, the Mayfax one have a lot more details. And initially, as I mentioned yesterday as well, um, it was all gold as well in the first prototype. And uh, after a few months, they actually announced they changed the design to this, which I think it looks very much better. Or uh, if not, it will look something like this one. But I believe it will still looks better than this one. Okay. So, um, yep. Again, the claw, the SH, uh, the uh, Mayfax one uh, wins again. The um, SH people, I think, is just uh, not to say a bad job done, but it looks. Uh, not screen accurate and it also looks very uh, how do I put it very children toy kind of things it's like this one is um, daddy's collectibles and this one is the son's toy okay so let's move on to the next one okay now we will talk about the accessories as for this spider-man it comes with I mean the SHV Gods one it does come with a lot more hands and uh, the funny hands that I feel that it comes with is actually this one just give me a second I'm not going to show you all the hands because it's the usual fist hand, you know, the wall crawling hands and the uh, web shooting hands and the web holding hand during the uh, swinging part is uh, almost the same as what this Mayfax Spider-Man has given us. So, but this SHV got actually come with this particular hand. Okay. 
which I find it pretty uh, odd. I don't know what is it for. It's like, you know, it's like asking people to call me, <laughs> you know, those kind of things. Yeah. So this is not a web shooting hands. Uh, I really, maybe you can give me some ideas. Uh, what is it for? Um, in my under the comment below. I think it's just for maybe some fun things. If this comes with the Deadpool, I can understand that. But for Spider Man, it looks pretty odd. Okay. Okay. Then other than that, um, it gives it comes with some web. You know how can a Spider Man, uh, how then how can a Spider Man be without some webbings, right? So so that's standard. And he doesn't come with any Amas head, but he does come with another two pair of eyes that you can interchange. So um, this is the one that is the uh, biggest opening. The one that I have it here is actually slightly smaller, and this one of course is the smallest one. Okay, so <laughs> this just gives something like this to interchange the eyes. But for this Mayfax Spider, uh, you can already see yesterday it just comes with a lot more. It comes with another head at least they give a complete head as opposed to this one just changing the eyes and uh, it comes with an amass head of, of tom holland although it looks not very good but still it's, it's an effort and it's a repaint one it looks better okay and um other than that ah it also comes with magnetic hands and legs yep and this doesn't okay yep so again mayfax actually given us uh much more better uh, options to play with as compared to this one okay so uh, as a conclusion uh, I don't think I need to conclude anything uh, for sure the SH uh, the Mayfax one actually looks a lot better I think the only thing that the Mayfax uh, the SHP quads wins over the Mayfax one is the articulations as well as the joints uh, quality yeah that's the only thing other than that the figure looks better, the paint looks better, the articulation, I'm uh, um, sorry, the uh, the poses, um, I would say um, they can pretty much do a lot of uh, crazy poses, uh, but you have to be careful with the joints, and um, for the accessories, of course, the Mayfax one wins as well, so it's of no competition here, I'm just <laughs> trying to show you guys the difference, yep, so um, this is it, um, I uh, sorry that I speak funny because <laughs> I just have a tooth operation uh, just now so I might sound funny as well my half of my face is still numb okay so uh, yep I hope you like the video click the like button and uh, leave me a comment if you would like to know more about these two Spidey and also um, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't do so okay uh, until then, I'll speak to you again. Bye.